published 0528 IST, the 29th of November 2017 updated 0702 IST, the 29th of November 2017 Labour's position on Brexit was mired in fresh confusion today after it emerged Diane Abbott backed a second a referendum in a letter to constituents. The Shadow Home Secretary vowed to argue for the right of people to vote on the Brexit deal in defiance of Labour Party policy. Ms Abbott insisted the letter was poorly worded when challenged on its content, but has nevertheless been praised by leading Remain supporters. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn ruled out a second referendum in the party's election manifesto as he scrambled to reassure Labour Leave voters he would deliver Brexit. Labour's position on Brexit was mired in fresh confusion today after it emerged Diane Abbott file image back to second EU referendum in a letter to constituents. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn pictured in Glasgow on Sunday ruled out a second referendum in the party's election manifesto as he scrambled to reassure Labour Leave voters he would deliver Brexit and Abbott's comments, revealed today by The Guardian, were made in a letter to two constituents about amendments to Brexit withdrawal bill. The Hackney North MP said the Brexit campaign had been based on parliamentary sovereignty and government should not now ride roughshod over MPs. And she said I will argue for the right of the electorate to vote on any deal that is finally agreed. She added the Labour Party is committed to retaining the best deal for all. I want to assure you I'm why focused on defending the interest of the UK and I agree there should be parliamentary scrutiny and transparency. Les Kelly, 52 a constituent from Stoke Newington, received the letter on the 22nd of November, a week after emailing Ms Abbott about the EU withdrawal bill. He told The Guardian like a lot of people in the constituency, I'm very concerned about Brexit. I was really surprised to see it. In reply, Abbott said there is no important story here, just a poorly worded standard letter that was sent out. There is no difference at all between my position and official Labour Party policy. Servants Cable pictured on Sky News on Sunday welcomed the remark and urged Labour to make it party policy Liberal Democrat leader Servants Cable said it is really encouraging that such a senior member of the shadow cabinet should come out for the Liberal Democrat position of giving the public a vote on the final deal. I call on them to confirm that they back Diane Abbott's new position. I also look forward to working with Diane Abbott to give the people the chance to vote for an exit from Brexit. The progressive parties did work together to give the public a say on the final deal, we could, even at this late hour, still stop Brexit.